schools. I have no cards. I hate speaking in front of people. <laughs> so I'm going to read to you guys. Um, don't start yet. <laughs> I want that slight pause. All right, so first of all, like I said, I'm going to break the rules and I'm going to use note, note cards. Uh, I have every single word I'm going to say to you written down because when I look out at this audience, I will completely forget my entire presentation. <laughs> it's happened before. Uh, <laughs> uh, my five minute in minutes includes both small annoyances that happen daily, as well as broader, more complicated issues that I think translate into areas of needed change and growth in Boulder. Some of these make sense, and some of them don't make sense. Um, OK, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, Boulder. First of all, I love Boulder. I mean, look at these rankings if you can read the uh, small print. Number one top brainiest city, number one town to live uh, well in, number eight city for artists, number one foodiest town, number one best city to raise an outdoor kid. Eek. Uh, number 10, queer city in America. Um, but what can we improve in Boulder? Um, first of all, get cyclists off Broadway. This is a personal improvement that I can make. <laughs> And okay, can you pause real quick? <laughs> I didn't practice. Um, there are bike lanes on both 9th and 13th, yet it seems like every cyclist feels the need to come down uh, the pedestrian sidewalks of Broadway when they're... Oh, geez. So I have to go with it? <laughs> okay. A tiny house. Let me build my tiny house on a foundation. Woo! <laughs> and forward thinking. I'm a Boulderite, yet the only option for me to build a house in Boulder or be a homeowner in Boulder is through the affordable housing program. Tiny is the future and we have to yet to embrace it. Oh, now I'm ready. <laughs> uh, smooches. Plain and simple. I wish smooches, my, my, my go-to Froyo shop, was open when they say they're open. <laughs> I guess you could say that great cities have reliable frozen yogurt shops. <laughs> Dog food. In 2014, a Boulder City Councilwoman suggested that DNA be taken from abandoned dog waste in order to identify the very naughty owners who chose to not look it up. Unfeasible and a waste of taxpayers' money? Wait, pause. <laughs> yes. But look at it. <laughs> but the look on a dog owner's face when you knock on their door holding up their dog poop, their dog's poop in a bag, that's priceless. Great cities do not have dog poop on the street. <laughs> uh, drifters. I'm not talking about the chronically homeless. I'm talking about people who make a conscious decision to drift. Some of them even hold up signs that say, Hungry Vegan. Yes, I have seen that. In a perfect city, not necessarily a great city, we wouldn't have drifters because they would all be at work. The Naked Ouch. Pumpkin Run. In 2009, the infamous Naked Pumpkin Run, run came to a halt when the Boulder Police threatened to arrest and charge all gourd top streakers as sex offenders. Great cities pushed the limits. Even the mayor was quoted to say, I'm a little old for it, but it could be pretty cool to be running around with a pumpkin on your head and not much else. <laughs> Public art. I feel very strongly about this. You put up art on the walls in your house. Why wouldn't you put up art on the walls of your city? Workshop 8 recently completed a public art mural at the 55th underpass in Boulder, and I can't even tell you how much of a positive <laughs> response uh, we received from the, the, from the community. They absolutely loved it, and I truly mean that. Great cities have great public art. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that single-family housing is shit, but cities need density. Boulder needs density. We can't build out, so let's build up. More multifamily housing equals more people like me, sincerely, yeah. like me, yeah. who will be able to own in Boulder. Okay. <laughs> grocery stores. Why is it that the only grocery stores I can walk to from my apartment on Broadway are alfalfas, where I can buy asparagus water for $7, <laughs> and ideal market where asparagus water costs $6? Great cities have affordable grocery stores and markets centrally located for all people. Bike sticks. Well, okay, so they're already <laughs> they already removed the bike sticks from Folsom. But why not do something fun and creative like flower pots? Yeah. A Bostonian Woo! did it and it looked awesome. Although the city didn't approve it, 
Let's always strive to make our public spaces better than they were before, both functionally and aesthetically. Uh, fast transportation. An easy concept to preach, a harder one to implement. But the fact is that great cities employ fast and direct transportation. You can make the argument for buses all day long, but in my opinion, light rail will always win. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is my uh, mess up slide. You can't swim at the north end of Boulder Reservoir without getting chased out by um, people on jet skis. Uh, what I was going to say was free the north end to the hippies, but my coworker Sean informed me that the north end may be a bird sanctuary, so I retract this slide. <laughs> uh, architecture. Why is it that McDonald's on 28th is my favorite piece of modern commercial architecture? <laughs> residential market, great cities have great modern architecture in both the residential and the commercial room. Uh-oh, uh-oh, my slide, my note cards. Okay, less brick, more cool stuff. Let's mix it up. We have so much brick in our city, why not break out of the comfort zone and use interesting and innovative materials? If McDonald's can do it, so can we. The 10%. When you divide and chop a city into very specific pieces, you divide a community. When you try to put extreme restrictions on growth in a city, you are keeping people who need affordable housing for people like me out of Boulder. Great cities have great citizens who vote no on certain propositions. <laughs> Finally, great cities utilize technology. We're connected, we know where we're going, and the city is ours at the touch of our iPhone screens. So why is it that Workshop 8 Architecture Studio is still frequented by people inquiring for porn? Yes, we used to be a porn shop, but now we are an architecture studio. Please spread the word. <laughs> so overall though, I wouldn't change anything about Boulder except slides 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.